So if you want to already start, you can just find a comfortable sit. You want to sit in front of your sit bones. So the sit bones are the bony parts at the bottom of the pelvis and you want to drag them back so that you sit up tall. Pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down the back and reach the back of the scalp up to the sky. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. If sitting on the ground like this is not comfortable for you, you can place a cushion under your pelvis so you can sit up taller or you can even sit on a chair. What matters right now is to check in. Check in with how you're feeling. Check in with how your body is feeling today. And notice the mental chatter, what's happening on in your head. Start bringing awareness to our breath. Inhale into your belly. Push your belly button all the way forward. And exhale, pull it back in. One more time, breathe into the belly. Push belly button forward and even the sides of the belly expand sideways. And exhale, pull the belly back in. Good. we'll go up higher so inhale into your rib cage expand the ribs exhale allow the ribs to come back in and one more time inhale into the rib cage allow the, the ribs to flare up and exhale pull the ribs back in okay so try to hold the lower belly in try to hold the rib cage in and inhale up to the chest Exhale, relax, sit up tall, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and one more time, inhale into the chest, the front of the chest, the sides of the chest, the back of the chest. Open the mouth, exhale out. Three part breath, inhale into the belly, the ribs, and then the chest. And exhale out, out of the chest, out of the ribs, and out of the belly. Two more times, make sure you're sitting up tall, inhale into belly, ribs, and chest. Even collarbones, and then exhale all the way down. Make sure your face is relaxed, inhale deeply all the way up. And open the mouth, exhale out. <sighs> Sit still and just notice how you're feeling for a second. Notice if there's any change with how you were feeling three minutes ago. Any change with how you're thinking right now and what, with what's going on in your mind. Okay, we'll start with some awareness of our pelvic floor. We're working today with extensions of the spine, so we want to work with opening up the chest. But in order to do that, make sure first that we're grounded and that we have that engagement in our deep core. So from here, what you want is to just bring your awareness to the muscles at the pelvis. Exhale. And inhale. Whenever you exhale, there's a natural contraction of the thin layers of muscles at the pelvis. And whenever you inhale, there's a natural release. Now next time you exhale, you can visualize your sit bones, the bony parts of the pelvis coming in so that the thin layers of muscles 
at the pelvis actually contract, they become narrower and they lift up. And then as you inhale, you can think of the sit bones moving away, relaxing the pelvic floor. Two more times, exhale, feel that squeeze through the pelvic floor, lift the muscles of the pelvis up, and then exhale and relax the muscles there. And one more time, squeeze everything down there, maybe everything squeezes, with more practice we'll, we'll be able to specify the muscles, but right now squeeze everything in and up, hold the squeeze, hold the squeeze, and then relax, inhale. Sit still again. We have a lot of holding patterns going on in our body and a lot of times we're not aware of those holding patterns. So through our practice of yoga, we're able to bring more awareness to those muscle engagements. And during the day, you want to be able to relax those engagements so that you're not constipated physically or mentally. So allow your pelvic floor to relax completely as you inhale. And then as you exhale, you want to feel a very specific, a very particular lift from the pelvic floor all the way up. We want to hold that engagement during the practice. I'll keep reminding you. So we want the deep core to be engaged, lifting up. And then remember how we pull the belly in and we lift it up and how we pull the ribs in and we lift it up when we were focusing on breathing into the chest. Those are all the engagements you want during the practice. So keep sitting up tall, lift pelvic floor, pull belly in and lift it up, keep the ribcage in and lift it up and try to breathe deeply, inhaling from the root all the way up but holding the engagements and exhaling all the way down, holding the engagements, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Okay, keep breathing in this way. So keep engaging pelvic floor, pulling belly in and up, ribs in and up. We'll bring some awareness to our shoulders and our shoulder blades. So first we'll just do some shoulder shrugs. So bring your shoulders up to the ears and then down. Again, lift the shoulders up, all the way up, and then bring the shoulders down. So every time you lift the shoulders up, you're elevating your scapulae. So the scapulae are those wings at the back. And every time you exhale, you lower the scapula, you depress. So inhale and elevate the scapula and exhale, depress. One more time, inhale, lift everything up, keep the belly button in, the ribs in, lift the shoulder blades up and exhale, keep the integrity of the seat as you bring the shoulders and the shoulder blades down so everything else is still lifted. Okay, stay seated. Now we work with, we work with um, proprioception, we'll work with the widening and the narrowing of the shoulder blades basically. So you want to bring the arms forward, open up the palms, pull the fingers back and then from here we will protract and retract the shoulder blades. So you want to push forward with the hands and then feel that you're pushing the chest back and then you want to push the shoulders back and feel like you're pushing the chest forward. Then bring your awareness to your shoulder blades. As you round the upper back, the shoulder blades widen, they separate. And then as you bring the palms back, keep the palms active, push back through the shoulders, the shoulder blades come together. One more time, round the back. You can exhale as you round and push. And then you can inhale and bring the shoulders back, shoulder blades together. Let go of the arms, sit tall. Okay, so now we will do some rolls with the shoulders. So bring the shoulders up to the ears, then forward, then down, and then back. Two more times, up, forward, down, and then back. So up, elevating the scapula, forward, widening the shoulder blades, down, Lowering the scapula and back, pushing the shoulder blades together. Take a deep breath and exhale, relax. Good. Okay, bring your arms forward, open up the palms, roll the shoulders all the way back. So you bring the shoulder blades together. 
open up the palms and then bring the fingers together and then open up the palms and then bring the fingers together and then go fast just to warm up the wrists for 10 9 8 7 6 5 go faster really widen the fingers every time 3 two and one really slowly gently and grab the left wrist with your right thumb and index finger form a gentle wrist and move the wrist around form a gentle fist and move the fist around circular movements one way and then the other and then we'll switch arms and roll the right fist around one way and then the other Okay, so we worked with our pelvic floor. Now we'll work a bit more with our deep core. You want to come to hands and knees. Press down into the knees. Find some actions um, with the pelvis. So what's happening when you uncurl the tailbone up and you send the tailbone up to the sky is an anterior pelvic tilt. And when you pull the tailbone back down and forward, you find a posterior pelvic tilt. So again, uncurl and raise up, and then exhale and round. Okay, so for this exercise, we want to have a slight, a slight posterior pelvic tilt. So don't overdo it with bringing the pubis towards the chin, but rather than neutral, have a slight tuck in of the tailbone. Now from here, press into the hands, pull the lower belly in and forward. We want to keep those engagements, so remember to lift the pelvic floor and to pull belly in and forward. Press the left hand down, the right knee down, push into the left hand, into the right knee, and then inhale and raise the right arm and the left leg. Exhale and come down. Press the right hand and left knee. Inhale, raise the left hand and the right leg, and exhale, come down. Okay, see if, you, if you're losing the engagements. So press into the hands, press into the knees, tuck tailbone slightly under, pull the pelvic floor forward, the lower belly towards the spine and forward, press into the hands, keep those engagements. Try to stay as still as possible, press into the left hand and the right knee, and raise the right arm and the left leg. Straighten the arm, straighten the leg, flex the left foot, stay here. And then next inhale, raise the right arm a bit higher, the left leg a bit higher, keep the belly in and forward. Inhale here, and exhale, come down. Opposite limbs, press the right hand and the left knee down, and reach the right leg back and the left arm up. Flex the right foot, straighten leg and arm. Pull the lower belly in and forward. Inhale, rise the leg up, the left arm up. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, and exhale, come down. Okay. Last variation. Press the left hand and the right knee down. Inhale, the right arm and the left leg up. If it's too much, just inhale the right arm up. From here, you want to really reach the arm forward and up. If the leg is up, back and up, and then twist to gaze under your right armpit. Pull the belly in, inhale, raise the arm a bit higher, the leg a bit higher. Exhale, stay here, pull the belly in and forward. Inhale, reach a bit higher, twist a bit more, and exhale, come down. Opposite side, press the right hand and the left knee down. Again, right leg is optional, you can just do the arm. So inhale, left arm forward and up, and maybe right leg back and up. Reach higher up through the arm, higher up through the foot, flex the foot, and then exhale, gaze under the left armpit. Keep reaching back and up through the leg, forward and up through the arm, and exhale, maybe twist a bit more, but keep the hips square. Pull the belly in and forward, inhale here, and exhale, come back to neutral. Bring the knees together, come to lie back and rest child's pose. We'll bring some more engagement to our shoulders again. 
So from child's pose, bring the shoulder blades together and then widen the shoulder blades. So think of the shoulders coming towards each other so that the shoulder blades squeeze onto one another and then widen, relax. One more time, shoulder blades together, pinch them together and pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum. So shoulder blades together and back. And then bring the shoulder blades back to neutral, widen the shoulder blades. And again, with wide shoulder blades, pull the shoulders back. Long neck, inhale here. And exhale, relax. Good, come back forward. Hands and knees. We'll play a bit with the shoulder engagements, but this time uh, from a locked position, so a closed chain position. Press the hands down, push round the back, the upper back, so widen the shoulder blades, and then keep pushing the hands down, but allow the chest to drop down, pinch the shoulder blades together. Push round the upper back, and then allow the shoulders to rise up and come close shoulder blades together. One more time, inhale, push, and then exhale, bring the shoulder blades back. So keep widening the shoulder blades and pull the shoulder blades back. And then reach the shoulders towards the ears, and then shoulders back. Two more times. Keep the shoulder blades wide apart, and keep the shoulder blades moving forward and back. And then bring the shoulder blades back so the head is forward, the shoulders are away from the ears. From here, we will drop the chest and bring the shoulder blades together. So shoulder blades are towards the sacrum, depressed scapulae, and then shoulder blades together. From here, bring the chin forward and up. Keep the shoulders going back. Shoulder blades together, shoulder blades back. Pull the belly in, reach the chin a bit higher, the chest a bit higher, and then release. Come back to lying down all the way. Same principles from Sphinx Pose. Bring the elbows under the shoulders, press the hands down. Now from here, you want to manually, so using your hand, pull your belly forward so that the lower belly is away from the sacrum, away from the tailbone, from the pubis. Okay, from all that area. Press down into the inner hands and the outer elbows. Press down strongly so you feel the chest engaging. If it's too much to be here, you can bring the elbows further to the front. Otherwise, elbows under the shoulders. So you choose your variation. Press inner hands and outer elbows down, pick up the chest and pull the shoulders back and then pull the shoulder blades down and then push the shoulder blades together, find a pinching sensation and find your inner shoulder blades, push them forward, find your lower inner shoulder blades, push them forward, pick up the chin, the chest, pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, inner shoulder blades together, inner shoulder blades forward, lower inner shoulder blades forward into the ribs. Inhale deeply here and exhale slowly release. Okay, you can take a breath if you need to. Otherwise, you can come up and we'll work with our wings. So press, you'll want to bring the left hand to the center of the mat. Roll the shoulders all the way back and send the shoulder blades back. And then bring the right hand behind the head. Open up the elbow to reach the sky. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Push the left hand down. Push the knees down. And from here, inhale and open up towards the right, pushing up with the elbow. Exhale, pull the belly in. Inhale, stay here, maybe push a bit more. And exhale, come down. Other side, right hand down, left hand under the head, shoulders roll all the, way, all the way back to the sacrum, and then inhale, open up, exhale, stay here, pull shoulder blades down the back, 
pull the belly in and forward and inhale, reach the elbow a bit higher up. And exhale, come down. Okay, if you're resting, come back up and we'll resume with this exercise. So left hand to the center of the mat. Roll the shoulders back all the way. We'll go a bit faster. Hand behind the head. Inhale, right elbow up. Stay there for a second and exhale down. Same side, stay here. Inhale, right elbow up. Pull the shoulder blades down, reach up and exhale down. Three more times. Inhale, press into the hands, reach the elbow up and exhale down. Two more, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, the elbow up, keep the belly in and forward. Exhale down, last one. Really press into the hands, reach the elbow up, up, up. You can push forward with the left shoulder, back with the right shoulder and exhale, calm down. Take a breath in a neutral position. If you need to, just release the weight from the arms, sit back. And we're going to the other side. So right hand to the center of the mat, roll the shoulders all the way up and back. So depress scapula, push into the hands, uh, the right hand. Bring the left hand behind the head. Pull the belly in and forward and inhale. Open up the elbow, elbow up, hold it for a millisecond and exhale, calm down. Press into the right hand, inhale, elbow further up and exhale down. Three more, inhale, reach up and hold and exhale. Keep the shoulder blades down the back, the belly engaged, inhale. Keep the hips over the knees and exhale. Last one, inhale, elbow up, push into the right hand, maybe push the right shoulder forward, the left shoulder back, elbow up and exhale, calm down. Bring the hand down, sit onto your heels. Okay, a bit more of a deep core engagement. So option to use the arms, if it's too much, if you feel that the shoulders are already killing you, just keep your hands on the thighs and focus on the uh, pelvic floor engagement. Otherwise, hands shoulder width apart, um, shoulder width height, elbows bent, and turn your palms to face your root. From here, we will really uncurl the tailbone back, pull the belly in, reach up, and exhale forcefully, feel like we're picking up the pelvic floor. So exhale, bring the palms down, pick up pelvic floor, and inhale, relax. Again. So the intention is to exhale and pick up the pelvic floor. So exhale, squeeze the muscles at the pelvis, reach up and inhale, release. Five more, exhale. You can also squeeze the glutes, squeeze the anal sphincter, reach up through the anus and then come up. Okay, three more. Really squeeze, squeeze hard, lift up. And inhale, really. Two more. Last one, inhale up. And now you want to really articulate the contraction of the anal sphincter. So your butthole, squeeze your butthole, lift it up. Exhale. Hold the squeeze. And release, inhale. So the anal sphincter is, a, is an engagement you want to be doing during your back bends. Whenever you're back bending, you're doing this mudra, this gesture, which is called horse gesture, and it's this engagement of your butt and everything down there. But actually, you can be specific, it is the anal sphincter lifting up. That helps your deep core to stay engaged, your lower back to strengthen, and you won't collapse there. Come back to lying on your belly. Cobra pose, so feet together. Press the tops of the feet down, press them so actively, so strongly, that the kneecaps come off the floor. So press the tops of the feet down, feel your glutes engaging, and squeeze your anal sphincter, as Ashwini Mudra, that's what it's called, so horse gesture, anal sphincter, Squeeze, pull the belly in and forward. Bring your hands under the shoulders, elbows in. From here, we will inhale the chin forward and up. Roll the shoulders all the way back. Keep the elbows in, shoulder blades together. This is the first cobra, so keep it low. 
press into the hands, pull the belly in and forward, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, shoulder blades together, shoulder blades forward, inhale the chin up, and exhale, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, shoulder blades together, inner shoulder blades forward, lower inner shoulder blades forward, inhale, exhale, move forward, chin forward, and come down, holding all the engagements until you come all the way down. It's very important when you move into the poses and out of the poses to keep everything engaged. Breathe. Option in between our repetitions, you can do what we call a vinyasa, or you can rest here. So feel free to rest here. If you want to be a bit more active, hands by the ribcage, elbows in. Shoulders again, all the way back, press into the hands. Tuck the toes under, find uh, a low push-up. You can keep the knees on the ground or lift everything up. And then inhale forward, press into the hands, upward facing dog, and exhale back, downward facing dog. So this transition is optional. If you don't feel like doing it, skip it. Come forward into a plank and then to come down, bend the elbows and move forward, 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 very slowly. Okay. Arms by the sides. Before moving to full cobra, we're going to shalabhasanas, so locust pose. Hands by the sides, press the palms down, press the feet down, pull the belly in and forward. Move the chin forward first, and then inhale, chin up, shoulders up, chest up, shoulders back, shoulders, shoulder blades down, shoulder blades together, push the shoulder blades forward, inhale deeply, exhale here. Inhale, and exhale, come down. Chin forward, feet together, pull the belly in and forward, press the hands down, and then from here, keep the feet together, straighten the legs, point the feet. Squeeze your glutes and your anal sphincter. Inhale, lift the legs up, keep the legs straight, everything else is on the ground. Exhale, Heels a bit higher, squeeze the glutes a bit more, use the glutes to lift the legs a bit higher. Inhale here, and exhale, come down. Okay, take a breath, and then we're going for chest and legs up. So reach the legs back, reach the chin forward. Inhale, reach away, lift up. Keep the belly in and forward, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs higher, lift the chest higher, exhale the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, the shoulder blades together, push them forward, inhale, and exhale, come down slowly. Optional vinyasa, if you want to, press the hands down, tuck the toes under, keep the elbows in, push, again option to stay on the knees, inhale, come forward, and exhale, push to go back. Inhale forward, and exhale, come down, slowly, very slowly, moving forward, keeping the elbows over the palms. Good. Feet together, legs together. Bring your arms forward, and form fists with the hands. So what you want is fists with the hands, and pushing forward through the wrists. So you'll pull the fists towards the ground as you push forward through the elbows. Okay, so find your position. Again, you can manually pull the belly forward. Rest down, find the arm position, push forward through the wrists, shin forward, press the feet down. The legs will stay on the ground, but the kneecaps actually lift up because you're pressing actively through the feet, activating your um, glutes. Reach forward through the arms, reach forward through the chin, and inhale, reach the arm and the chin up. Exhale, stay here, press the feet down. Inhale, a bit higher up, shoulder blades together, and reach away, elevate the scapula. Reach a bit higher up, and exhale, come down. You can release the hands, so palms on the ground. Widen the shoulder blades now, for a bit more of a grip. Bring the chin forward, we'll go to the legs. Feet together, legs together, pull the belly in and forward, activate the glutes, activate Ashwini. Reach the legs back and up, straight legs. Four, three, 
two, feet together, legs up, point the feet, floor one, slowly move the legs back and bend down. We're not collapsing, we're not releasing anything. We're staying active until we touch the ground and then we can just rest. Okay, form fists with the hands again. Turn the fist so that uh, the wrists are pushing forward and the fists are touching the ground. We will now bring the shoulder blades together and push forward through the hands. If it's too much for the neck, you can widen the shoulder blades. But eventually you want to be able to push forward through the arms and bring the shoulder blades together and really reach the chin forward so you don't feel anything at your neck. Pull the belly in and forward. Activate the upper back. So your deltoid muscles reach forward through the arms and up, reach uh, back through the legs and up. Feet together, legs together. Four, three, just three breaths. Reach higher up through the arms and legs. Four, two, and one. Slowly, calm down. Good job. Optional vinyasa. So if you want to do your transition, pulling the belly in, going to a low push-up, transitioning forward and transitioning back. And then move forward and then move all the way forward to bend the elbows over the hands until you come to the ground. Last Shalavasana, last locust pose, hands under, uh, behind the head, interlace the fingers. Feet together, press the toes, all ten toes down, feel the kneecaps lifting up, feel the glutes moving forward, pull the belly in and forward and then from here Lift the elbows up, the chin forward, and the head up. Four, three. Keep the belly in and forward. Four, two. Rip cage in and up. And one. Slowly come down. Rest for a second. If it's too intense, these exercises, then maybe do it for less time or go for a previous variation. So you can always just bring the arms back and repeat what we did before. If it's too much to lift the upper body and the lower body, then you can repeat uh, upper body on its own and lower body on its own. Now it's just lower body. So bring your elbows to the sides, elbows resting on the ground, chin resting on the ground, pull the shoulder blades down the back, pull the belly in and forward, legs together, point the feet, reach the legs back, and inhale, reach the legs up, four, three, Activate the glutes. Four, two, pull the belly in and forward. Lift the legs up. Four, one, slowly come down. If you feel lower back pain, then these exercises actually will strengthen your lower back as long as you keep the engagement of the belly too. So keep lifting up the pelvic floor and the lower belly. So if it's too much, if you're uh, pushing yourself uh, too far, then maybe don't go too high. Reach back rather than up. Find length rather than height. And then from here, we'll bring everything up one more time. Legs stretching back, feet together, arms behind the head. And then inhale, elbows up, elbows forward, elbows up, exhale, legs up. Keep the feet together, the legs engaged. Four, three. Pull the belly in and forward. Squeeze your anal sphincter. Four, two. Keep reaching up through the elbows, up through the feet, legs together, feet together, and exhale, calm down. Okay, press into the hands, pull the belly in, push, and come to child's pose. We're going to Anahatasana, a heart melting pose. So from here, we'll actually walk the hands forward until the hips come over the knees. If you cannot have the head on the ground, you can stay higher. Keep the knees under the hips, press the feet down, and then from here, you want to first find a posterior pelvic tilt, so tuck the tailbone under, and then find an anterior pelvic tilt, and curl the tailbone up, send six bones up to the sky. Pull the belly in and forward, move the chest forward, the chin forward, gaze forward. Press into the hands, and then from here, we will again reach back with the hips, so keep the hips over the knees. This is just to find uh, an elevation of the scapula. So the shoulder blades move towards the hands by 
keeping the palms on the ground and pushing the hips back. And then reach the chin up and maybe bring the shoulder blades together. Again, if it's too much, widen the shoulder blades. So you have a choice. Eventually you want the shoulder blades together, you want to reach the chin forward. Maybe you bring the chin to the ground. If it's too much, bring the forehead to the ground. Keep thinking of the chest pushing down. And curl the tailbone back and up. Inhale. And exhale, maybe move the hands a bit further away from the knees. The chin a bit further forward. And rest here. Try to push the shoulder blades together and elevate the scapula to reach the chin up to squeeze your um, deltoid muscles, the upper back muscles. Then come to your fingertips, so stay where you are, fingertips on the ground, pull the belly in, posterior pelvic tilt, bring the chin in, use your deep core to round back up and walk the hands back. Okay. Bring your elbows up. Bend the elbows, elbow shoulder height. Palms facing forward. Now from here, we will move the elbows together and move the elbows away. And back. Elbows together. Widen the shoulder blades. Elbows back. Push the shoulder blades together. Elbows together. And elbows back. Okay. Keep the elbows back. Push back with the palms. Push back with the elbows. From here, we will elevate the scapula. And then depress the scapula. Keep the scapula down, so shoulder blades down the back, and then push the elbows back, shoulder blades together. Push the elbows back, shoulder blades together. Stay there, chin up, chest up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, shoulder blades together. Inhale deeply here. Exhale, push a bit more, elbows back, shoulder blades together, shoulder blades down. Inhale, reach up for the chest, the chin. And exhale very slowly, come back to center. Rest your hands on the thighs. Close your eyes and breathe. Arms by your sides. So if a kneeling position is not comfortable for you, sit in another way. Sit with the legs crossed or sit on a chair. We're still focusing on our torso, on our upper back. With yoga, we want to bring light to the spine, so forget about the legs. Inhale the arms up, reach up. Reach the arms up, really up, so elevate the scapula. And then from here, keep the right arm reaching up and bring the left arm down. So left arm down, pull the left shoulder back, shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, pull it down and keep the right shoulder blade lifting up. Now from here, we will bend the elbows and turn the hands towards one another. Maybe your hands are away, that's fine. Grab onto your t-shirt, keep the left shoulder moving back, the left shoulder blade moving down, and keep the right elbow moving up, the right shoulder blade moving up. You try to push the right shoulder blade back and the, uh, the right elbow back, and the left elbow forward. If you're able to walk the hands towards one another, then maybe you grab the t-shirt so that the hands are closer, or maybe you grab opposite fingers. Pull the belly in, lift the chest up. Exhale the ribs in. So when you exhale the ribs in, maybe you limit your shoulder mobility. And then keep the ribs in, keep the belly in, lift up through the chest, and push back through the right elbow. Again, maybe your arms are further away. Keep pushing back through the right elbow. Keep pushing forward through the left elbow. Inhale, reach up through the right elbow, down through the left, and exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale, reach away. And exhale, right elbow back, forward through the left. 
pull the belly in, inhale, arms away from one another, reach away, and exhale, switch side. Left arm up, right arm down. Pull the right shoulder all the way back and shoulder blade down. Reach the left arm up to elevate the left scapula. So right scapula down, left scapula up, reach away. And then from here, exhale, receive, and move the hands close to one another. Again, maybe you just reach the corners of your clothes. Maybe you're able to go, go a bit closer. Maybe you can grab onto opposite fingers. From here again, elbow, left elbow back, right elbow moving down. Pull the belly in, reach in and up. Inhale, reach higher up through the left elbow, higher, uh, lower down through the right. Exhale here. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, move the elbows away, inhale, and move, release the hands and move the arms away from one another, and exhale, bring the arms to the sides, into a T. From here, we'll roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. And then go the other way, roll the shoulders all the way around. Then try to go opposite directions. So with the shoulders down, bring the right shoulder forward and the left shoulder back. And then move the right shoulder up, the left shoulder up. Move the right shoulder back, the left shoulder forward, and then move shoulders down. So you're going clockwise with one shoulder and anti-clockwise with the other and then go the other way, left forward, right back, left and right up, left back, right forward, left and right down, one more round, good, and then release. Come down to a uh, line on the ground, face up. You want that engagement throughout the cobra. So lifting the belly in, everything in and up. Come to cobra pose. Send the legs back, feet together. Pull the belly in and forward. You can use the hands to pull the belly forward. Arms by the sides. Lift the chin forward. Roll the shoulders all the way to the head, all the way to the sky and all the way to the feet. And then bring the hands to the ground. So keep those Shoulder blades together and down the back. Press into the hands, press the feet down, pull the belly in and forward, inhale the chin forward, the chin up, reach the chest up, shoulders back, shoulder blades together, pull the shoulder blades together, push forward to the chest, to the chin, inhale here, and exhale, reach forward and reach down. Okay, second cobra, open up the legs, mat with distance apart. So legs straight, press the tops of the feet down, pull the belly in and forward. No hands, so lift the hands off the ground, press the feet down, squeeze your glutes, your anal sphincter, pull the belly in and forward, reach the chin forward and the chin up. Inhale, reach up, no hands. Exhale, shoulders up, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades together, shoulder blades forward, four, three, two, and one, slowly come down. Rest for a second. Okay, we have two more cobras. With the next one, we'll lift up just like we did now, and once we find our edge, we'll bring the hands to the ground and we'll go deeper into our back bend. So press the feet down, activate glutes, activate your core like we did before, pull the belly in and forward, ribs in and forward. Hands under the shoulders, elbows in, chin forward, no hands, inhale, come up, shoulders up, shoulders back, reach up, reach up, reach back, press the feet down, hands to the ground once you find your edge, and use the hands to pull and reach higher up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, push the shoulder blades together, elbows together, pull the belly in, press the feet down, inhale, reach up, chin up, chin back, and exhale, 
forward, forward and down. Okay, last one. This time, once we find our edge, we press the hands down, we go deeper, and then we bend the knees. So maybe try it before going up. Just bend the knees, bring feet to the hips, and you really want to squeeze the glutes so that the feet come close to the butt. You can bring your hands back to see what's happening with the feet. So if, you're, if you can't touch your feet, use your glutes more to bring the feet closer. Keep the belly in and forward. So bringing the feet to the hips should not make you compromise the lower back. Keep the lower back long. Press the feet together and towards the hips and then release. So this is the last action that we will do. Feet width, uh, mat width distance apart. Press down the feet, lift the knees forward, lift the pubis forward, pull the belly in and forward. Hands under the shoulders. So press the feet down, activate the glutes, feet stay on the ground, hands off the ground. Chin forward, inhale, come up. Once you find your edge, press the hands down. Hands can be a bit closer to the hips. Reach the chest up, chin, uh, elbows in, chest up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, pull the belly in. And once you find your edge, press the knees on the ground, bend the knees, bring the feet close, and breathe for five. Last one, so stay with it, four, four, elbows in, chest up, chin up, four, three, shoulder blades down the back, head back, four, two, squeeze the glutes, and one. Very slowly move away from your center and then come down. Good job. Okay, we are going for a Dhanurasana, a bow pose. So hands on the ground, optional vinyasa, tuck the toes under, inhale forward and exhale back. Okay, inhale, come forward, press the hands on the ground, pull the belly in and exhale, come down. If you were resting, then time to wake up. Reach the legs away, feet to the corners of your mat. Or just shoulder width apart if you don't have a traditional mat today. So press the feet down, pull the belly in and forward, reach the chin forward. Now from here, we will lift the chest up, just like in Shalabhasana Locust Pose. And we will lift the legs up and bend the knees. Feet to the hips, reach the legs higher. Reach the chest higher, the arms off the ground, 4-3, stay with the hands, not touching anything. 4-2, feet closer, chest higher, arms back, and one, come down. Okay. Take a breath. You can repeat what we did now, or grab your feet, the tops of the feet. If you have any ankle issues, grab your ankles. Okay, from there, reach the feet back. Reach the chin forward. Roll the shoulders to the ears, to the sky, and towards your feet. From here, reach the chest forward, chin forward, chin up. Exhale, legs up, bend the knees, feet together, knees apart. Maybe you grab the feet. Maybe you stay off. Inhale, reach the chest up, kick up with the feet. And exhale, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Shoulder blades together, push the inner shoulder blades forward, and break for three. Chin forward, chin up, forward two, kick away through the feet, and one, pull belly in as you come down. Good job. Bring the hands to the ground, push, and come to your knees. Hips back, hands forward, relax. Take deep breaths into the lower back, and exhale through the mouth. Breathe into the lower back and the lower belly. And exhale through the mouth. Breathe into the lower back, the lower belly, and the sides of the lower belly. Open the mouth, exhale. Good job. Press into the hands, pull the belly in. Use the hands to pull yourself forward, your hands and knees. Move the knees, hip distance apart. We'll repeat what we did at the beginning, but this time arms and, hip and feet stay uh, 
torso height. So you won't bring the hands higher than shoulders and you won't bring the feet higher than hips. So pull the belly in, pull the shoulders back, push into the hands, widen the shoulder blades. Inhale the left arm and the right foot back, flex the right foot, reach back through the foot, forward through the arm, and exhale, come back to center. Inhale, right arm, left leg, reach away, and exhale, back to center. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, reach forward through the back of the skull. Last one, inhale, and exhale, and last side, inhale, and exhale. Time to lie on the ground, face up. Bring your knees to your chest, uh, hands on top of the knees, flex the feet, bring the heels towards your butt and your knees towards your chest. Really push with the hands so that the knees come close to the chest and then have the intention of pushing the knees up. So you're pushing the knees down with the hands and think of pushing the hands up with the knees. So there's that internal struggle going on. You can't really see it, but you should feel it. So keep the feet flexed, heels close to your butt, and then push down with the hands and push up with the knees, really lengthen the lower back. Inhale into the lower back. Exhale, send your sit bones further away. Lengthen your lower back. Inhale into your lower back and your lower belly. Exhale, push the knees closer, move the knee, the sit bones away from you. And last one, inhale into the lower back, the lower belly, the sides of the lower belly, expand. And exhale. Release. Good. Straighten your legs. Stay active. So flex your feet and bring your palms by the sides of your body. So keep the arms active. Chin in, shoulders towards the ears, shoulders to the ground, and shoulder blades towards your sacrum. Pull the belly in, push the lower back to the ground. Inhale from your heels to the crown of the head. Exhale. Two more breaths, stay here. Two more breaths, inhale, stay here. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, and relax. So relax your whole body. Allow your breath to be natural. Allow the muscles of the face to release any tension, any stiffness and engagement. Allow your breath to be natural, allow your pelvic floor to be relaxed. So inhale into the pelvic floor so that it releases completely and for the next few moments allow it to be completely relaxed. Allow your rib cage to just flare out with every inhale. Allow your belly to just expand with every inhale. And allow every exhale to bring you closer and closer to the center of the earth. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, relax your arms, your legs. Relax your whole body. Allow stillness, allow relaxation to do the work. All you need to do is be present and be still. Be quiet and relax. Any thoughts, any distractions come up, keep coming back to your body and to that feeling of stillness, peace, and to the feeling of groundedness, trust that gravity will keep pulling you down and relax every last engagement that may still be happening.
lying down comfortably. Stillness, peace, tranquility to be your new normal. And from that place of peace, stillness, come back to observing your breath. Observe how your belly button rises and drops and the energy that's carried by that breath, the life force energy. like at the beginning of the class, find a comfortable seat that works for you. Sit on a chair if you need to, sit on a blanket or sit on the ground. You want to send your sit bones back, find an anterior pelvic tilt and pull the lower belly in and lift up through the belly. Pick up the chest, roll your shoulders all the way back, all the way down and reach up through the back of the skull. Relax your face, relax your eyes or keep your eyes closed. Bring your hands to heart center and allow your head to bow down. Keep the muscles of your face relaxed and just take a moment of silence, a moment of stillness, a moment of observation. Watch what's happening at the center of the chest. to your mind uh, a 
memory or an aspect of your life, a person, anything that's going on that makes you feel appreciative. So it can be a person, it can be a characteristic of yourself, it can be an achievement, it can be a memory. Just use that as food for appreciation. Use that for you to really invest in that feeling of feeling appreciative. Keep focusing on that person, on that feeling, on that situation, characteristic, aspect. And allow appreciation to find its place at the center of your heart. Allow appreciation to get bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter. And keep focusing on that feeling until it fills up your whole body. cell of your body feel appreciated and feel appreciative. Allow a smile to form on your face. Let that feeling there's a there's a meditation class tomorrow if you want to try it at one o'clock Spanish time, which is two o'clock in Cyprus, twelve o'clock in UK, and the same time I have the beginners class on Sunday. So you can do that if you want. Okay, I'll turn off the devices.